Hello everyone, let me show you how we are going to use the Ship It Render Form. Assuming that your project is complete, so this is the mall I have been working on and uh, this is the city. And we want to render out some panoramics using Ship It Render Form. So uh, first things first, I'm going to select the camera to make sure that I have put a few keyframes for the positions I want. So this is my camera selected here. I think you can see it better, better like that. So make sure that you animate all the camera positions. Put a keyframe for every position that you want to have a render done. For this uh, experiment, or rather for this tutorial, I'm going to use five frames you can see them right here start at 101 and end at 105 if you do the math 105 minus 101 that gives five so i'm going to get five images that's my goal it's very important that you you specify how many frames you want obviously the more frames that you want the longer it's going to take to render but if you only want to do a render for only one frame well, it's not important that you have to upload it to ship it render farm because it will take just the same amount of time uh, like rendering on your computer. So we start with <coughs> going to uh, ship it render farm. Make sure you have the account, you log in. Here are the account name and the password. I am going to share these details in the chat. Once you open and you log in, then you come to, you get started. And this is going to open for you the page where you can browse for the file and you select it. But now before you select and upload the file, there's something else you need to do. Uh, make sure first that you come to file, export, not export, but external data. And you want to pack all the resources meaning that you want to pack all the keyframes and the textures and all the data that's required to make sure that you are okay so you pack the resources and i can see i have 119 textures or files that have been packed and then you also need to do something else uh, come to external data once you pack the resources make sure that all the paths are relative very important make paths relative that's also done uh, i get an error message that 31 have failed but it could be because they are just duplicates there's so much going on in this scene right now then i come here to this render tab obviously i'm rendering in cycles using gpu uh, you must make sure that uh, you don't set the render samples so high so that your project won't get uh, rejected by the render farm. If it's, it's too high, it's going to take too long to render one frame and it may be flagged down. Then obviously you come to the render settings. Uh, this is the normal setting, 7000 by, by 9500 for panor panoramic, panor panoramic renders. This is the res resolution we're using. Then apart from that, I think we're done. We're done, pretty much done. The only thing you, you also need to make sure is that if you're using any add-ons, some of them may fail when you upload them to the render farm. So make sure you're not using external add-ons. One of them that will fail is the grass, the gist cutter, gist cutter add-on. Make sure that you're not using that add-on because it won't show where you have placed the grass. Use another method to make the grass. Don't use add-ons. And pretty much most of the add-ons you're going to use or if you're using the experimental features here, experimental, it's not going to work. You must be working in the supported supported uh, file formats for everything to work. So uh, once you're done, once you're happy with your scene, you should also try to render it on your own PC. At least render one frame, make sure everything is okay, the light, the, make sure that everything you need has already been captured here. And then after that, you simply uh, go, you save the file. Once you save, uh, you can minimize or close, it doesn't really matter. 
So you come to your Ship It Render Farm account, you browse the file. I know mine is right here. Hold on a second, where did I save it? I saved it here. London GIS. Let me uh, sort by date. Sort by date. That way I'll get the most recent file. Then open. Once it's added here, now it's a matter of sending the file. So uploading depends on the speed of your internet. I'm not sure how fast my internet is, but I believe it should. All right, now we're back. Uh, once you upload your project, you'll find it will bring you into this window. And I can find these red error messages. There are some textures that were not found. But I see that they were not, they don't, they're not going to be used in the, in the render because I can see that I don't need this. So uh, that's for me, it's not a big problem. But now there are a few settings here we need to take, to take care of. Uh, first, it is renderable by all members, including my computer, if it is connected to the render farm. We are going to use the CPU, that's okay. We're going to use NVIDIA graphics card, that's okay, and the AMD graphics card. So all of what this means is you have allowed all the users with a computer which has AMD GPUs, NVIDIA GPUs, and those computers which have only CPU and no GPU, they can still help you. Well, uh, for some reason, maybe you don't want to use AMD sometimes because there are some things that AMD struggles with. But this project is good for all kinds of, you know, projects. Uh, start frame and frame. Now, this is very important because uh, you had already set it in the Blender file. We set the start frame to 101 and uh, 105. So we are, we are expecting like five panoramic renders from this test. Then if all good, then you press uh, add this blend. And uh, just in a while, you wait, it's going to get uploaded. So it brings brings you into this window. You can see five slots here, which represents the images we are expecting. So if you are rendering a thousand images, for example, expect to see a thousand square gray boxes here. And uh, the colors can tell you what's going on. If it's gray, means that this frame has not been given to anyone. If it's in orange, it is being rendered but not complete. And once it's completed or finished, it becomes blue. So at this point now, I just have to relax until all these renders are done. And I'll find them in blue, then I can download the file and extract my renders. I think that's all. That's how you use Ship It Render Farm. Thank you.